Here it is. Open box review on the 1957 Chevy Bel Air Car Culture Series. Appears to be a new kit from AMT. I have not seen any reviews or anything on this yet. I haven't seen any builds of it. Take a look at some of the box art here. Pretty snazzy pictures. Obviously a 125th scale. Here's something interesting about this kit. It actually has photo etch parts, bare metal foil, and spark plug wires. I think that's something new for AMT. I haven't seen any kits like that yet. And on the bottom here, just a parts overview. Let's open it up. All right, inside the box. Clear plastic parts with tail lights. Doesn't appear to be any issues. Here's a body. See any mold lines or anything? Appears to be pretty well molded. Underside undercarriage floor pan seems to be one piece. Be some painting to do there. Looks pretty well molded overall. Some chrome parts here. Of course, the 1957 is pretty much dripping with chrome. Kind of hard to focus with my light over the table here. Some more parts trees. Again. Pretty well molded. I don't see a whole lot of flash or anything on here. It's pretty nice. Looks to be a good offering from AMT. Every once in a while they get it right. Some more parts trees and it looks like the door inserts. In the frame. And the seats. Again, very little if any flashing at all. Hardly any. Looks pretty good. Oh, here's something interesting. Some photo etch parts. Like for the scallops, the grill, the rockers, maybe. Almost looks like almost looks like photo etch parts from model, model car garage. Done very similar. And some bare metal foil. Very little of it, but. That's a piece of bare metal foil that I don't have to pay for. Here's the decals. Let's open those up. It's an interesting set of decals here. Charlie's Candy Store. Not many for the car itself, looks like. Maybe maybe a window sticker. Interesting. The 
and put those back. See what else is in the box here. Some tires, some spark plug wires that look to be look to be of a pretty sufficient size. They don't look too big on the tires. It does say in the box that there is uh, white wall inserts, which I've always liked. Makes it a little easier. Decals are kind of hard to get on there sometimes, and paint hardly ever comes out good. Good deal. Here's uh, destructions. Gonna be kind of hard to do with one hand. You can see here on the front page of the instruction sheet it gives some directions on how to use bare metal foil. Some descriptions of the photo etched parts and how to use those. Pretty interesting. The fold open type instruction manual looks to be a pretty standard Seems to be a pretty slim set of uh, instructions for a 160 piece kit. Well, pretty interesting. Let's see what else is in the box here. <clears throat> So as part of the coal car culture set, this is a uh, Lucinda Williams. I'm sorry, Lucinda Lewis has a, a book of photographs. Are those all for the Chevy Bel Air? Interesting. And then this looks to be some sort of a. An attempt at a diorama or a backdrop for photographs, I suppose. Probably won't get much use out of that. It's just part of that. And that's it. 57 Bel Air. Looks to be a pretty cool kit. I'm not much of a Chevy guy, but I think this one will be alright. Be a lot of fun to build. Keep an eye out for that. I'm going to probably put this on my bench next. After I decide what color to paint it and everything. Thanks for watching.